Hey guys, and welcome back. More Persona 5 Royal. In this episode, it's time to put our plan into motion. We gotta get some dirt on Madarame. But we're doing that crap tomorrow, so... <laughs> Later, 516. I'm trying to hook up 517. The date, not the amount of people have... Whatever. Hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but... What On said made me think, to Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong, am I? There's nothing inside. Aw, oh, yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Is there a way for me to pray? I'm a chef Man, Ryu just really worked up over this. It's pretty noticeable with the new dialogue and all, but... All right, I contacted Kitagawa-kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks! I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Yeah, that's understandable, but all you gotta do is take the brush and, you know, just start painting all over yourself. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Can you at least try to take this seriously? <laughs> Never. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Matarame, remember? Yeah, that is true. It sounded like Kitakawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Uh-oh. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. See ya. I don't know, man. I'm kind of worried for On, but she can take care of herself. She's tough, after all. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got a hold of Mishima today? And it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. 
You hear her? It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again... And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! Itago Akun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. <clears throat> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... Inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? 
Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? Cat? You moron! He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too, before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? What? Are you saying I'm... Uh, no, I mean... That's not what this is about! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Me? I don't know nothing! I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today.
Well, that kind of sucked. Uh, whatever. I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude? And claiming to report us to the police? I'm a cat! How can you pull me the police? Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Mishima, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I, I'm literally not who you think I am. <laughs> That's my headcanon for the relationship. And I found something insane about Matarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Matarame stealing his art. Well, Ryuji, first off, you should probably not phrase it that way, but if it is true, yeah, that's unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died, though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa Kun's heard anything. It'd be great if you could help us out. <sighs> Ain't that asking a bit much? Besides, isn't he preoccupied? After day, he'll probably gonna be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Monorami's still a piece of crap. Yeah, no kidding. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be the first time at our new hideout. Uh, isn't that passageway in Shibuya, right? Yeah, that's the one. Got it. See you tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Well, it's like the old saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. If there was no shady business with Matarame, there wouldn't be all these rumors. And heck, Yusuke's already admitted to some shady business. Also, he has a palace. What more proof do we need? I don't know. But as the other saying goes, <laughs> where there's beans, there's finna be coffee. Or three bean casserole, but I'm not making the latter. <laughs> hey, what do you think? My casserole has mm. been liquidated. That's flavor. It's Cuban Crystal Mountain, right? How'd you know? Cuba is the biggest island in the Caribbean. Their coffee is known for its full-bodied aroma and taste. Cool. Crystal Mountain coffee is made from only the largest bean of the harvest. It has a sweet, nutty flavor. Low acidity. Neat. <sighs> the flavor. It sucks balls. God dang it! Well, well, you can't win them all. Shut up, Morgana! But yeah, he's right. One day, I'll make a cup of coffee. That is at least better than the convenience store next to us. <laughs> Anyways. Well, <laughs> Don't forget from today on, our hideout's going to be at the Shibuya Passageway. Yeah, thanks a lot, student president. That reminds me, Mishima said Nakanohara should be in Shibuya today. So let's go! Whee! Transition! Yo! We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Matarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Matarame as well. I'm one of Matarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Matarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Matarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. 
In response to Matarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Matarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Matarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Matarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Matarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Matarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Matarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitagawa-kun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak! Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey! What is Matarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Alright, okay. it's officially mission start. This is the first job for the Phantom Thieves. It just says Phantoms there, but just ignore that. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. Right, so we got 18 days to seal Madarame's heart. You also gotta take in consideration the time it takes to make the calling card, and also special obstacles. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you can't beat a palace in one day, because you need to do certain objectives in the real world to affect the cognitive one. I kind of like that. It's kind of 
of realistic, even though we're talking about palaces and people's brains. But we're going to hold off on the infiltration for just a little bit. We are going to the palace today, but what can I say? Your boy wants to do some shopping. So let's head over to Central Street because, believe it or not, today we can start a new conf. I mean, I don't know why you want to believe it. Have I lied before? No. Just about that time I said I'm gonna go floss, but I actually didn't. I forgot. Okay, anyways, Velvet Room time. We're starting a new confidant here. And don't worry, this won't eat up any time. And it's a pretty good confidant. All the personas that belong to it are really strong, but advancing this confidant is another story. I'll save that for another time. <laughs> it seems you've gotten used to coming here. You must surely be accustomed to infiltrating palaces by now. Uh, not really. Honestly, it's still stressing me out. Regardless, you've yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. This is not the full potential of the power of the wild card. Hmm. I suppose. This is a prime opportunity to help further your rehabilitation along. Don't worry. This assignment is not mandatory. Think of it as almost a test of strength. Bro, exams are over. You really, you really gonna give me another test? Come on. Now, we will have you bring us the mask we specify. Okay. Huh. You just gotta show us the persona we ask for. Well, that's easy. First off. We would like for you to bring us a Jack Frost. That's pretty simple. That's just too easy, Justine. It should be a challenge. Hm. I wanted to have Mabufu too. That's that's not, not really that it. hard, but you got that? Bring us a Jack Frost with Mabufu. You know, the skill it comes with innately. Farewell. Very well. We ask for Jack Frost with Mabufu. Please speak to us again when you have it. This will not be mandatory for your rehabilitation, but you will be handsomely rewarded for it. <laughs> I encourage you to at least try your hand at this. You got it, boss man. I mean, what choice do I really have? I'm kind of in prison here, might as well do it. So this is a fusion request, and if you're experienced with Shimagami Tensei games, you should be okay at this. And seeing as I am, we already are ready to go with few- I didn't get the guy. Frick! Okay, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> we got Bicorn of the Hermit, Arcana. We're gonna fuse that with an angel we found in Kamoshida's palace to create this Jack Frost. Now, as I was trying to say, there's many different possible combinations to get to make Jack Frost. I'm going to try my hardest to always recommend the cheapest option, but what is cheapest for me and what is cheapest for you in your playthrough will vary because of how fusion calculation works. But, uh, yeah. All you gotta do is have Morgana's confidant rank up and should learn Mabufu eventually. I'm Jack Frost, ho! I know I'm just a mask, but take good care of me, he ho! Will do. God, I love him. He's so adorable. Ah. <sighs> Jack Frost, one day I will own all your plushies. He got plus two strength, boy. You getting deleted. Freaking worthless. <laughs> no. Now that we have the what? desired mask, all we got to do now is talk to Caroline again. Or is it Justine? I don't know. They look the freaking same. God damn. We'll talk about our penal labor, which no is not what you think it is. And uh, yeah, this should advance the confidant. Now. I will verify the status huh? of that persona. Hey. Sit right there. Uh, do you mean on the toilet? It seems you brought the specified persona. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. Though I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Me? <gasps> hey! Are you laughing at us? No 
your place, inmate! As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You've got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the Wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the strength persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Next task. Okay, we're already rank one. We request an Amino Uzume with the skill Frey. Please come talk to us again once you have it. Hey. Will do. You get how to do it now? Then stop wasting time. But I can't make that persona yet. Just hurry up and finish the task at hand, inmate. Gotcha. So, uh, yeah, you're starting to see how this confidant sort of no works. For a good chunk of the game, we're just gonna kind of freaking ignore it. Kind of like doing all your homework at the end of a semester when you could have done it really early on. But uh, our next piece of homework is we need a DVD player, bro. I'm getting bored. What's this gotta do with Madarame? <laughs> Jack crap, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Let's further our stats and welcome. Ah, oh, I like how this guy sounds. Anyway, yeah, the DVD player, it's pre-owned, but hey, pretty cheap. Can't go wrong. Thank you. No problem, man. And now that we have a DVD player, let's get some movies, man. If you come right over to Central Street once again, there's a rental store, which is a pretty big chain. Ooh, a DVD rental shop. Hey, check out the ad. They have an annual membership campaign. I'm only here for one year. Sounds efficient to me. Welcome. Would you like to apply for an annual membership? If you're a student, it's only 4,800 yen. During our campaign, Rent all the old DVDs you want with no extension fee. You can only rent one at a time, though. That's actually pretty reasonable. We're pretty busy, so not having to worry about extension fees. Awesome. If you have the money, maybe you should sign up. Oh yeah, I got the money. Only f yeah, sign me up, miss. <laughs> Thank you very much. May I see your student ID? Uh, yeah. You live in Young and Jaya. Now just sign here. All set. Wow, she's energetic. Your hands were shaking when you wrote. Were you nervous? No! <laughs> Being nervous around a girl. Since you're a member now, you can borrow DVD starting today. Alright then. Welcome. What can I do for you? Take a look around. Oh crap! <laughs> that was a dude! Um, maybe the manager came by, but yeah, give me the X folders! Thank you very much. Please come back soon. Will do. Later. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I forgot it was a dude who ran the shop. My bad. Anyways, now that we've taken care of that, it's officially time! to enter Madarame's palace. We're gonna wreak some havoc, maybe beat up some shadows, I don't know. There's no point in holding the meeting, no point in going right, mementos. Let's get right loose. to it. And uh, yeah, I, <sighs> it's such a fun little snapshot of the game. This whole little arc, I don't know. I like it, cherish it while you can. And you know what, I'm gonna take my time and highlight why this place is so cool. And I'm sure you know this, but the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route, true? And we'll send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyway, let's get ready. Do we, Ryuji? We've only done this one other time, but the uh, velvet room will spawn in like that. Kind of like it, but yes, guys, after a lot, and I mean a lot, of front-loaded crap, we're finally ready to infiltrate the palace. Is it really front-loaded? I don't know. I guess they need to set the stage and the setting for what's to come, but yeah. Next time on Persona 5 Royal. 
it's time to infiltrate the palace. Again. I mean, we got the brochure this time, so it should be pretty easy. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. And see you next time. Bye.